What's up guys, Callum from Western Table Soccer here and welcome to a very quick bonus question slash answer episode for the Painting Academy by Westwood Table Soccer. In this tiny little video, we're just gonna be re-going over creating those V-necks. All right, so just to cover off repainting these V-necks, I'm gonna be using 98 just because I think it's gonna be easier for the camera to pick it up. So I'm using matte 98, got my double zero brush and as you can see here, a completely unpainted figure. Really quickly, I'm just gonna blast around his legs and his hands again, and then I'm gonna come up and show you guys specifically his head. So I'm just gonna run a quick time lapse through. Okay, so there is our guy nicely painted on his legs and his hands, okay? So what I'm gonna do very, very quickly, I'm just give my brush a quick clean off because I'm gonna show you another way that you could possibly create your V next. It is a difficult thing to get right, okay? So don't worry, it gives you a couple of opportunities and don't be afraid to just take your time with it. But what we're gonna be looking to do, okay, is finding a central line on the shirt. So using our eyes and visually just finding a central point on the shirt. And what we're gonna do is if our brush in quite a pointy um, setup on the end, is we're just gonna come down just below the pre-molded collar line and we're just gonna drag up to so it reaches the pre-molded collar line as it goes around his neck there. So what we've got there is the start of a point of our triangle. So we're gonna come around to the other side Okay, we're gonna meet the line that we just made with our paintbrush and we're gonna drag up to meet again. Now, I'm not happy with how central that is in the shirt, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back over to this side and what I'm gonna do is just expand it out to the middle a little bit more so that when I come down and meet on the other side, and drag this line up from the bottom of my triangle there. What I've got now is a much cleaner V-neck on the front of my shirt, okay? So that is another way that you can create your Vs as opposed to the way we did it in the first episode. Then all I need to do is just get my brush into a nice flat setup, which is here, and then I just need to fill in the rest of my white space. Obviously taking care around the edges near the shirt, because what we don't want to do, if we go crazy there, we we'll end up with getting skin on the shirt, and we don't really want to do that. So we're just gonna fill in our spaces here. Nice and simple, coming around the back of his shirt. Again, around the back, you just follow that mold line that's already in the plastic. Take his neckline or his hairline down or up as high as you want to go. Um, and then that's it. That is how you create a V-neck in a slightly different way to the way in which we did it in video number one. Remember, so what we did is we started off with our brush in a point and we came down and we found what looked like a central line on the shirt. We then dragged it back from there to link up with the edge of the collar up by his shoulder. We came round to this side with exactly the same. So we met our middle line that we'd already done and we dragged it back until it met the collar line on the shoulder. We weren't happy with how central it was located, so what we did was we just brought our point of our triangle down a little bit more and across, which then took it into the middle of the shirt, which then allowed us to rejoin that line up. And what we've got now is a nice, clean, crisp V-neck. All 
All right, so that's the end of this little video about creating a V-neck, a slightly different technique than the one I showed in the initial video. Hopefully, it's gonna help you guys out with creating a crisper and cleaner line, especially down here. So remember, we started in here and we drag up to here and we wanna meet this line where the collar meets the neck. So we wanna come down, we wanna start that line there. Then what we wanna do from the other side is try and meet that point and we're gonna try and bring it up to here. Now what we ended up with when I painted there was a line that was slightly too far this way. So it wasn't central to the middle of the shirt. So all we did, we just pulled our line a little bit more across, came down to here and then matched it up and then you just fill in the rest of the head. So hopefully that video has been useful. If it has, please smash that like button. If it hasn't, get in the comments, let me know what I can do to make it better for you. Click subscribe, play this videos, tutorial videos. See you on the next one.